Hi, Mavi here. I am going to give you a quick tutorial on making a plaid pattern. I've had a couple people ask me for this and this is just the way I do it. I'm using Photoshop Elements 10. So you may have a newer version than I do. And I am going to be making this plaid pattern that you see in front of me. I encourage you to change it up with the spacings and the width of your lines. If you haven't, seen my stripes tutorial you may want to go check that one out to get an idea of how to make basic patterns but I believe you should be able to follow along with this and make a basic plaid pattern now the first thing you're going to want to do is open up a new file make sure it's a blank file and you're going to use these specific dimensions 150 pixels wide 150 pixels in height and your resolution 72 your background needs to be set to transparent next you're going to make a couple of new guides these guides are going to help you make sure that your stripes in the middle are right in the middle so we're gonna set one at 50 pixels vertical and another at a hundred pixels vertical. Your guides are one of your best friends. Next you're going to grab your rectangle tool. You're going to set it to black and you're going to draw a rectangle right to fit in the middle of those two guides. Set the transparency to 75 percent and duplicate this layer. When you duplicate the layer you can click Control or command plus J or you can right click and at the top you will see duplicate layer. Transform this layer by clicking Control T and rotate it 90 degrees. And there you have the very first sets of stripe. They're going to make a little bit of a T right in the middle. The next part, I'm going to go super fast so you can see what I'm doing. But you're going to make eight more lines using the same method, but you're just going to make them skinnier. Instead of using the line tool, make sure you grab your rectangle tool for these lines. So here I am. I'm going to make a line here. I'm going to set this transparency to 100%, and I'm going to duplicate this four times. Now I'm going to take two of these lines and I'm going to drag them over to the opposite side. I want to make sure that they're inside my canvas here so I'm going to drag one out and I'm going to move them. I'm going to space it out using my space bar 10 pixels apart. I'm going to do the same thing on the opposite side. Next I'm going to duplicate these layers four times and I'm going to grab two of them and I'm going to rotate them 90 degrees and then space them apart 10 pixels and I'm going to do the same thing for the bottom. So as you can see I've made eight lines and I have them all around the edges. Next I'm going to move them up away from the edges by 15 pixels. You can make sure you're grabbing both of these layers by clicking shift or control and grab both of those layers so that they move at the same time. And I want to make sure that I'm moving them away from the sides the same amount so that the little corners will be the same distance apart. So there's my basic pattern. So I'm going to make an extra layer, put it at the bottom. I'm going to go up to edit, define pattern, and I'm going to call this pattern plaid or whatever you want to call it. And now I'm going to fill a new layer. So I'm going to make a blank file. Oops. And I'm going to make a photo paper 6 by 6 and my resolution at 300. And I'm going to grab my paint bucket, grab my pattern, and fill that in. And there you have it. It's a pretty plaid. You can rotate this if you want. And I'm going to add color. So I'm going to go and I'm going to select a new fill layer, grab a solid color, click OK. Then I'm going to go up to my layer and create clipping mask. And there's my colored plaid. Now if I want, I can take this and use it as a background for another 
image, I can change the color, I can use a gradient. So um, there you have it. I hope this was easy to follow. If you have any questions, please comment in the box below and let me know what you think. You can always email me as well. Have a great day.